The Fox 54 Weather Now Tower Cam Network, sponsored by Brighter Side Roofing. Good evening, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving. You're taking a live look over Evanstown Center, and for the most part, we're starting to see an increase of cloud coverage across the two state. A couple of showers possible down towards the south. We got an incoming low from the Gulf, and this is going to be making its way through Florida. Unfortunately, this low is going to bring us some increased cloud coverage and maybe a pop-up shower or two down towards the south. Now this cold front is coming in. It's coming in pretty strong through Sunday. That's going to elevate rain chances into the end of the weekend. Temperatures now into the 40s, 47 in Thompson, 48 in Aiken, and 48 up towards Edgefield for this evening. Dew points reflecting pretty much the same as our surface temperatures. So we're seeing pretty high relative humidity, and that means we're going to be seeing lots and lots of cloud coverage as well. 49 in Augusta, 48 in Louisville, and 45 up north towards McCormick for this evening. Regional temperatures quite chilly across the board as that cold front is really starting to make its way into the area. So 49 in Oklahoma City, 50 in Jackson, and 45 in Wilmington for this evening. Now for this evening here in the CSRA, low of 44 degrees, warming up just a bit. Yesterday we saw a low of 36 degrees so about 10 degrees warmer um, and sprinkles are possible up until about midnight for this evening. A couple of showers definitely possible for any of you shoppers for tomorrow morning up until about 10 a.m. So stray showers definitely possible temperatures into the 40s warming up as we get into the 7 o'clock hour and 65 going to be our high misty conditions before 10 a.m. Mostly sunny for the afternoon as well. And just stay safe shopping, everyone. It can be very dangerous for those Black Friday shoppers. Now, your weekend outlook, Saturday and Sunday, we're warming up to about 59 degrees. It's actually cooling down quite a lot, but we're going to start to see an increase in atmospheric moisture, and that also means increase in the rain chances as well. So this low, pretty weak low compared to the high up towards the north, this is going to give us a mixture of both cloud coverage as well as those sunny skies. So we're going to be seeing a mix of sun and clouds here in the next couple of days. Unfortunately, that cold front is coming in, going to mess up the weekend just a little bit for Sunday. So you can see that increase by about Sunday evening. We're going to see a couple of pop up showers. Stronger storms definitely possible down towards the south of the panhandle. But other than that, here in the CSRA, we're just seeing those cloudy skies. So let's go ahead and take it more on a local level. We're just continuing to see cloud coverage more or less in and out of the area as that high pressure and that low pressure are really battling it out for the win. Now, for rainfall chances, Sunday is going to be pretty much our heaviest rain day. Other than that, we're remaining very light. Friday morning going to be a couple of stray showers here and there. But as we head into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're really seeing the effects of that cold front. Lots of dry and cool air behind that front. Seven day forecast looking good for the most part. 55 by Tuesday, 58 on is a high on Wednesday. And those overnight lows getting as low as 29 degrees by Wednesday morning. It's really starting to cool down here. Rainfall chances remaining slim, pretty much under 20% up until about Sunday evening. Then the rain may come back by Thursday as we're looking ahead to our next cold front. Lauren?